What's going on YouTube? GS now right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you on iOS 12 and of course on iOS 11.4.1 that are waiting for a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by PDF Element by Wondershare which allows you to edit PDFs, create them and convert them on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. So just a few hours ago an article has been posted by SSD which is pretty much secure theme secure disclosure in here and they say quote iOS and macOS Safari sandbox escape via quad core heap overflow so this is pretty much a very very important thing so if you go ahead in here you can see that this is pretty much a sandbox escape which allows you to write and read files outside of your sandbox and of course this is a very powerful step towards a jailbreak but anyways if you go ahead in here more information has been posted about this bug and finally an exploit has been posted in here which if you scroll you can see in here so it says exploit and there is the source code which I think is more of a proof of concept at this stage. Anyways, the reason this is very important is because this can actually be chained together with something that Pango has. So just a few hours ago in here, Saigusa and others had a discussion in replace of a post made by Tyle, which is pretty much a Pango team member. Pango team member posted a link to this uh, keynote in here they held at POC or Power of Community Conference 2018 about IO service and vulnerabilities and so on. And in here, apparently they discussed an IO user client vulnerability and of course Saigusa said quote there goes another one of my IO hit zero days but man out of all the bugs why you gotta kill the ones not affected by PAC implying that this vulnerability that Pango has is pretty much usable on the new iPhone XS, XS Max and XR as well because these are the devices containing the PAC or pointer authentication codes because the A12 chip is pretty much on ARM v8.3 so it does have PAC. Now the discussion is actually much more important than that. You can see here that a person called Purple Team says quote is it possible to write an exploit based on this vulnerability to which Saigusa replies sure but you need a specific entitlement so based basically a powerful sandbox escape. To which of course Purple Team replies, quote, this sandbox escape is powerful to launch Pango's IOHID exploit and of course he links this one in here which is the iOS macOS Safari sandbox escape via Quartz Core Heap Overflow. And of course Saigusa replies actually yes. So this can indeed be chained together and pretty much get root or even more privileges. So this is pretty much a very good step towards iOS 12.1 12.0.1 and iOS 12 jailbreaks and also it's possible that all this in here is compatible with iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 as well. However, if you're running iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1, I do not recommend updating to this point. So if you go ahead and here, you can see that only iOS 12.1 is currently signed, which is something very bad because if you update to iOS 12.1, you cannot downgrade anymore. So my best advice for the moment for you would be to pretty much stay on iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4 if you are already there. If you update then do not worry there are exploits available and as you can see they can be chained together to pretty much get something beautiful however for Pango's thing in here that has been talked about in this presentation in here where they released a POC or a proof of concept as well we have to pretty much have an exploit created so it's still not usable in this stage we need an exploit to be written first by a developer who can write an IOHead vulnerability exploit but it's still a very good thing because a powerful sandbox escape is also also usable for an application like Houdini or Torngat and this one seems to be a very powerful sandbox escape. Now I'm not entirely sure if any of these applications will be updated but a sandbox escape should in theory help with that matter. But anyways more fine tuning may be needed for this exploit in here before it's completely usable for a jailbreak. However it's a very very good step towards the right direction. So yeah this is pretty much it guys do not forget to subscribe to stay updated I am GSNow and till the next time Peace out.